It wasn't an insurrection, John. It was a protest that got out of hand. It was a riot. There was never any chance that the ordinary functioning of government wasn't going to see itself through to fruition based upon those people massed at the Capitol. That sure? was not an insurrection. I mean, we know what insurrections look like. They involve military forces. They involve seizing the radio and the television stations. They involve the declaration of martial law. They involve killing scores, nay hundreds, nay thousands of people and rounding up tens of thousands of people. This was not that, not even close. I have taken a great deal of heat for saying or for implying that I wish somebody would kill Donald Trump. And that is exactly what I was implying. It was irresponsible. That is what you were implying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said it. And it was irresponsible of me to say that in a public space. I really shouldn't have said it here. Now, I already did. And so, you know, I have to own it. I did say it. Somebody has asked, you know, do you say that in private? And yes, I have said it often. And I have only halfway been kidding. And I'm going to say it again. Yes. And it is a smaller side of me. I should not wish for another person to suffer, even if it's a hideous big of a man like him. It's really, it's not the Quaker way. There's a Quaker history in my background. It is the smaller side of me. However, you, yeah. well, I was just going to say, I should not have said that in a public space. It, I feel like Julianne Malvo, the economist, um, famously said about Clarence Thomas that she hoped that his wife put a lot of fat in his him a lot of fried chicken so that he would he would die and you know that's always so his arteries got clogged with cholesterol and that he would have a stroke or a heart attack yeah that was most certainly her lowest moment and now here i am doing the same thing now frankly she was saying that about thomas because she thinks that he's not black properly whereas i think my reasons for wishing that somebody else would wind up running as the republican candidate for president are maybe larger than that I, I, I fear for my country, not that we're going to end up going to Mars, but I don't think he should be running things. But I should not have said that on this show. And I apologize. One of my lower moments. Yeah, your remark. I know of Julianne Melville. We were in graduate school together a half century ago. Oh, really? Um, and I, I, I and she's a firebrand and she's got strong opinions. So she doesn't like Clarence Thomas. She hopes that uh, he doesn't live forever. OK. What you have said, I think, is <laughs> much worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, do you realize what hell will have been unleashed upon the country if people start and continue to talk like that? You, you, this is not something that you can just casually throw around. No. Killing politicians whom you don't like. You're right. <laughs> you, that, that, is, that is not a way that you want to run the, ra the railroad here, man. I mean, that's, yeah. that's disaster. But another thing I don't do, like do about... Do you think it ends there? Do you, do you think... That if somebody were to do something along the lines of what you're suggesting, that that would be the end of it. I don't. You, I don't want to speculate. Uh, unleash the whirlwind. You 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 let the uh, the hell out into the into the uh, midst of our political uh, deliberations. The way I imagine it is, just, a lot of people can play at that game. Somebody else would run. Anyone but him would be better. That's I understand you don't like him. I'm talking about the country. John, are you prepared you to flush be everything grand, down the toilet? Grand insurrection because he was he had been killed. I mean, I shouldn't have no. said that. It's not the way anybody who has any okay. kind of public talk that. should talk. And I mean, look at the way Trump, you know, invites people to speak and to think. And here I am doing the same. Trump said of, something like that. We would never hear the end of it if he that would be on the front page of every newspaper forever. Yeah, but then look at the kind of talk that he did that basically encouraged the insurrection. That's the sort of thing that he does. And I'm saying, I really should not have said that sort of thing on this. It, it wasn't an insurrection, John. It was a protest that got out of hand. It was a riot. I mean, we know about that from the summer of 2020 because we saw protests get out of hand. They called them riots, and that's what they were. The ones in 2020 were much more extensive, much more spread out across the country, involved many more people, and much more harmful, damaging in terms of property and lives lost than what happened on January 6, 2021. Uh, there was never any chance that the ordinary functioning of government wasn't going to uh, see itself through to fruition based upon those people massed at the Capitol. That sure? was not an insurrection. I mean, we know what insurrections look like. They involve military forces in conflict. With, they involve seizing the radio and the television stations. They involve the declaration of martial law. They involve killing scores, nay hundreds, nay thousands of people and rounding up tens of thousands of people. This was not that. Not even close. They wanted to interfere 
with the passing on of power in our government. I don't care what word we apply to it. They had an intention. They weren't just there with placards. They were in there. Okay, well, I, I, care, I care what word, and I suggest that we not use the word insurrection and we preserve it for things that are really insurrections. And since you don't care what word we use, perhaps you would comply with my request. Why don't we just call it the Vugambas? Let's make up a word. That Vugambas was absolutely <laughs> intolerable and frightening. It had an intention. It wasn't just people with placards like an anti-abortion protest or something. They were trying to interrupt something. And Trump started it. And he would have been happy if they had succeeded. Uh, let's go peacefully and patriotically and assemble at the Capitol to let the Congress know how we feel about what's going on. That's not what they were doing. They wouldn't have had to break in. That's what he said. They that would. that was his quote, incitement, close quote, peacefully and patriotically. So, okay, so I'm done. I'm done because, you know...